Now come to the esophageal varices. Basically, the venous blood of the GID is passes to the liver first via the portal vein, which is the main cause of the first pass effect of the drugs or other compounds. Diseases that impedes this flow will cause the portal hypertension, and this portal hypertension will cause the esophageal varices, and this esophageal varices is going to cause the esophageal bleeding. How this portal hypertension will cause the esophageal varices? This portal hypertension will form the collateral channels between the portal and the cable system, where the portal and the cable system communicate. GI blood is passed through to the liver via the portal vein. Then this portal vein is going to communicate with the inferior vena cava. And where these portal and the cable system communicate? The, in the portal hypertension, collateral channels will form at this place. And this portal hypertension will also going to form the congested subepithelia and some mucosal venous plug site in the distal esophagus and the proximal stomach. These uh, dilated vessels, whether it's due to the collateral channels or these congested subepithelia, some mucosal venous plaques, these are varices. These are most common in the cirrhotic patients or the alcoholic liver disease or the hepatic schistosomiasis. In the morphology, the varices are mainly uh, composed of the tortuous dilated vein, the submucosa of the distal esophagus and the proximal, proximal stomach, as I discussed earlier. And the channels, which co collateral channels, which are formed due to the portal hypertension, will form beneath the epithelium, below the epithelium, and these channels will be massively dilated. But these varices are not very obvious in surgical or the postmortem specimen because of the collapse of the blood vessels due to the absence of the blood in these blood vessels. But when this varice uh, Varices will rupture, it will cause the hemorrhage into the lumen or the wall. In the overlying mucosa, and the overlying mucosa will appear ulcerated and the necrotic. If the variceal rupture has been has taken place in the past, it will cause the venous thrombosis, inflammation, or it will give the evidence of the prior therapy. Clinical heat is present in the 50% of the cirrhotic patient. And but these varices is going to bleed in the 25 to 40 percent. Now, what can be the treatment? The treatment can be a uh, splenchnic vasoconstriction, or it can be done endoscopically by the sclerotherapy, uh, means the injection of the thrombotic agent, and and it uh, can be done. Uh, balloon tamponade can be done, or we can do the variceal ligation. And if the uh, varices is going to uh, will uh, rupture, it will cause a hemorrhage, and the patient will die due to the hypovolemic shock, hepatic coma, or other causes.